Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about summer style and more specifically what to wear in summer when you are pregnant. As many of you may know, Luke and I are expecting our first baby at the very start of March and I'm currently in my third trimester and I wanted to share some of the things that I have been reaching for over summer. Initially I had thought I would do a bit of a summer maternity capsule wardrobe but I realized that for me it's more about the different styles and silhouettes that I'm wearing. So I figured instead what might be a little bit more useful for those of you who might be going through the same thing that I am or who are pregnant and going to be going into summer in the middle of the year if you live in the northern hemisphere then me sharing these different outfit combinations which I've found really work for me might be um, really helpful in terms of I guess driving your own personal style throughout this journey. The other thing I want to mention is a uh, bar two pieces here all of these items are not maternity clothing pieces, so even if you aren't pregnant, hopefully you'll be able to get some outfit ideas from this video as well, because for me, a really big thing with this pregnancy has been trying to utilize what I have rather than just rushing out to buy something that will accommodate my growing bump, and actually I found that there was a lot more in my wardrobe that I could wear than I originally thought. The other thing is that when I have added anything new into my closet, I've really thought about how I might be able to wear it long term in terms of both now during the pregnancy and also afterwards during nursing and then beyond that. So trying to be really conscientious about any new wardrobe additions. I also just want to quickly apologize if you notice that there's any kind of shifts in color balance or brightness. It is very cloudy today and the sun kind of keeps going in and out of the clouds. I'll try and fix it up as much as I can in post. I also just wanted to mention that you will be able to find links for every single item I feature down in the description box below. Just click show more. I'm going to be organizing it by category so every single piece will be um, properly described also with the brand name and if it is an older piece I will try and link to an alternative which I think is really beautiful and would be worth adding to your wardrobe if you've been looking for something like that. Anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting on these outfits and then I'm going to talk you through the different ways that I've been styling these key pieces or key elements of my pregnancy summer wardrobe. So the first style I wanted to talk about is the slip skirt. This one that I'm wearing here is from Realization Par, but I've got a couple of others that I've sort of had on heavy rotation. One being this black one from NVN, the label, which I wore pre-pregnancy. This one I actually purchased at the end of my first trimester. I got it a size small. I will leave all my sizing details down in the description box as well, just in case that is helpful. Uh, and then I also have this navy polka dotted one from Suzanne. So again, this is kind of the type of piece that is really classic and that I'll be able to continue to wear post-pregnancy too. Um, now, the thing I love about a slip skirt is just that quite often they are cut on the bias, so they tend to follow the natural contours of your body really well, which is perfect for accommodating a growing bump. Uh, I really love the fact that I haven't needed to kind of size up. I've just been able to pull my skirt up a little bit higher so it sits above my bump. Slowly as I continue to grow, it just keeps sitting rising higher and higher at my waist. The one thing that I will say though is that depending on the cut of the skirt can be a little bit unflattering on your behind. So one thing I would suggest doing is wearing it with something that is a little bit fitted like this on top that you can wear untouched because this actually gives me a little bit more of an illusion of shape. So it really kind of contours to my body and you can kind of see I would generally be a lot smaller up here if it weren't for the baby growing in my belly. So um, yeah, just so you can get a sense of the back so you can sort of see that the skirt does have a little bit of fabric that pulls there but I'm not too concerned about that I feel like as long as I feel good from the front um, I'm totally <laughs> happy with that now some of the other ways that I would wear a slip skirt would be with a little t-shirt uh, just a simple tee it could be in any color um, mine are mostly in neutrals aside from this really beautiful uh, linen red stripe one from Alessandra but basically I would tuck these in uh, either into the skirt or into a bandeau top. So I've got this one here from Cotton On. I actually got it in black too, and these are fantastic. <laughs> Highly recommend, particularly if you want to uh, wear something strapless. This is a really good alternative to getting strapless bra, um, because I know my chest is still growing. 
um, but that's one way that I would wear it so I would sort of tuck it into the bottom of the bandeau otherwise if I wanted to create more of a cropped effect otherwise what I would do is I would knot it at the waist and I would either leave it in the knot visible so it's kind of pulled up a little bit above the uh, waistband of the skirt and then the other way that I would wear it would be to tuck the knot under so you almost get this teeny teeny little peak of skin just where the skirt would meet the t-shirt so that's kind of the other way that I like to wear them um, in terms of a less dressy option than this crop because this to me is something I would usually wear if I wanted to be a little bit more fancy because the fabric is quite thick and stretchy I would just go for a simple stretch cotton top this one's just from Glassens, and I liked this because um, it's perfect for summer, but also would be really good for nursing as well as I can just drop the strap down or undo the little poppers on the front. Uh, now, another way that I would kind of wear it is with a silk shirt or a cotton shirt if it was a little bit cooler. We have had really mixed temperatures over the summer, so our summer temperatures can be anywhere from 25 degrees Celsius all the way to 40 plus degrees Celsius, so it really depends and the wheat can be a total mixed bag. So I've got a couple of shirts here, one is from Everlane and this is just their white cotton poplin shirt and again I would um, actually, what I would do is I would probably have one or two buttons down up at the top and then I would undo all of the other buttons down the bottom and then I would knot it at the waist. Again that kind of just gives that illusion of shape. I'd also wear it with the sleeves rolled up. Same goes for this black silk blouse. This one here is from Lily Silk and I might have a discount code for this if it still works. I will leave it in the description box just in case but um, this one's got a little bit more fluidity to it so it feels less structured and I actually find that this one kind of gives me a little bit more of a flattering silhouette than this one here but either way I love both options. The final little top that I have uh, is just an off the shoulder top and I got this from ASOS. Um, this I got in a size um, 6 actually, so I got my usual sort of size in their stretchy tops and I like the fact that I can wear this higher up or else I can wear it a bit lower down if I want something that's showing a little bit more skin and this again is a really good one for dressing up your outfits. Uh, so those are sort of the ways that I've been wearing slip dresses. If it was a little bit cooler, I do have a piece of knitwear here, um, I probably wear just a really light knit sweater and I would belt just above my waist because I find that helps to add definition if that's something that you're trying to do uh, and definitely something to do with like really big oversized dresses is belt them above your bum that can really help but doing that and then kind of tucking the sweater in at the front I just think that looks really chic and like I said I will have loads of outfits here in terms of my shoes um, I'm going to be wearing the same sort of ones throughout it's going to be slides sandals, heeled sandals, espadrilles, and some cute pumps that I find work really well in the summertime. The second skirt that I wanted to mention is one of the few maternity pieces that I've purchased. It's just a really fitted black pencil skirt. This is just from ASOS Maternity, and I've been wearing this probably from about five months pregnant, and I found it really, really comfortable. I just went for my usual size, and it's really great because you kind of feel like you're all tucked in uh, and it really does show off the bump which uh, if you prefer bodycon style outfits then definitely the one to go for and I feel like pregnancy is a really great opportunity to embrace those more figure hugging styles. Uh, so again I would actually just wear this similar way to the slip skirt. Um, as you can see here I've decided to pair it with a t-shirt just to show you how I would tuck a t-shirt into a skirt like this. So. Um, yeah, I like the fact that it's a little bit contrasty and as you can see it kind of gives me a lot more shape over the back. Um, but also, I would probably wear this one like maybe even with a little cami and then with a shirt worn open. This is the kind of thing that I think would also look really cute with just like a little denim jacket thrown over the top, very casual. I could throw on some sneakers with the outfit too if it was a slightly kind of cooler day uh, and I really wanted something that was going to keep me a bit warm. Also, another way that I've worn this and I wore this when we went to Shoal Bay is with this really oversized uh, shirt. This is from Matin, I think is how you pronounce it. It's a really beautiful Australian brand and it's just a cotton gauze blouse and I wore it with this worn loose which I really like because then you just got the skirt peeking out of the bottom of the blouse but I also wore it slightly tucked in at the front with the back loose and I like that 
because what it did was it kind of gave me an opportunity to show off my bump but it also felt really comfortable and it was just nice and loose and free flowing at the back so yeah I thought that was another really sweet way to pair the skirt but things like this it goes with absolutely everything and actually um, when I pair it with the little black off the shoulder top from ASOS I find it looks like a little black dress so um, that's a really great way to kind of make the most of your wardrobe and really uh, kind of make things sort of work harder, work for their space in your closet. Then there's just one other skirt silhouette that I've been wearing and it is kind of the tiered midi skirt. So this entire set is from Ruby which is a New Zealand brand and they have this whole Morella style which I just think is absolutely beautiful and I really wanted to invest in a piece from the collection. There was actually kind of a white top and skirt combo that I wanted but when I saw this particular set I thought it would be so perfect for the pregnancy and also to wear afterwards. Uh, personally I actually just prefer it to get almost like a dress so you can kind of see this is a top here and then the skirt which I pulled up over my um, bump and I like the fact that this is so super stretchy so I find anything that has smocking in it is perfect when you're pregnant you're gonna see me talking about that a little bit further on with some of the dresses that I've got that I've been wearing uh, but yeah I just find it is really comfortable because it kind of stretches as your tummy expands which makes it easier to really extend the life of your pre-pregnancy wardrobe uh, but yeah I just think this is a really beautiful combo and I love the way this looks with really neutral sandals also just a really beautiful neutral heeled sandal looks great with this as well I have worn the skirt with just a white t-shirt and a leather jacket which I liked but I didn't love it as much as I love these two paired together but I feel like with a soft grey tee this would look really, really cute. And the skirt would also look really sweet with that sweater that I mentioned earlier as well. Uh, just for something a little bit different. This is actually also from Ruby. Um, I decided to, I placed a little bit of an order because I, I just love their stuff at the moment. But that's kind of the way that I would wear this. Um, I find with a really light bright color like this it is better to pair it with equally lighter brighter colors so I find black quite often brings it down whereas something that is white or cream or beige really brings the color up and just makes it feel so much more vibrant. Then the third and final piece that I've been wearing on my lower half has been denim shorts and I will say I always forget that there are no pockets in the front of these. Um, I will say that I did buy these particular ones um, not 100% sold on the idea you may know if you've been following for a while that denim shorts are a huge part of my summer wardrobe with it being so hot here in Sydney it is just such a no-brainer particularly warm with a little silky cami or with a t-shirt um, and I really wanted to be able to continue to keep that within my pregnancy wardrobe as well so yeah these are a maternity style and these are under the bump these are from jeans waist just like the jeans that I bought so all up I've bought four maternity pieces or bottoms um, but yeah I find that I prefer the under the bump style just because it allows me the opportunity to tuck things in which I personally prefer I know over the bump styles definitely give you a lot more support particularly if you're bigger if it's your second or third or more pregnancies or if you're having carrying twins uh, but yeah considering this is my first one I find the under the bump ones totally fine for me um, but yeah you can kind of see I've paired it with that really beautiful gauzy cotton blouse and this to me is just a really classic beach look so I probably have my swimsuit on under underneath before going to the beach uh, but it's just something that I feel really comfortable in um, and on my feet would just be some cute sandals I would also just pair this with a t-shirt now because it is an under the bump style it does mean that I need to wear a t-shirt that is long enough and one of the few that I have, I think I've got two that still cover my bump. The, this one from Frame, this grey one, and also this black one from Everlane. So they're kind of the ones that I pair with it. I will say when I'm wearing just a t-shirt and the denim shorts, I don't always feel my most chic self. So I did just want to point that out. And it's one of those things, sometimes you've just got to pick comfort over feeling 100% chic and it's sort of something I would wear more on the weekend when I'm just sort of lounging around at home. Uh, I do also think it looks really cute when paired with more of a traditional style um, blouse as well and again I would tuck that in, roll up the sleeves and probably pair that with some pointed toe flats. Then we've got dresses and I've got three categories of dresses that I've been wearing a lot. 
The first is the floaty midi or maxi skirt. The second is the mini dress. And then the third is the slightly more fancy or dressed up smocked dress, which kind of hugs all those contours of my body. So first we're gonna start off with the midi or maxi dress. And you've probably noticed that I have a huge preference for anything that is super floaty. Again, going for things that I would wear post-pregnancy as well, or even just would have worn before the pregnancy. So the first dress that I'm wearing here, this is very sort of Grecian inspired, and this comes from Alessandra, and it is just the most beautiful linen dress. I feel like a Greek goddess in this, which is great because it's kind of pointing to my heritage, but just really beautiful for summer and a really lovely color as well. And this one kind of just skims the floor. So with things like this, I mean, I would just wear them on their own and let the dress be the star and I would pair it with shoes that are complementary. So for this particular one because it is more of a muted sand color I would pair it with nude shoes because I just feel like that's going to complement it the best and it's also going to make my legs look slightly longer what you can see of them peeking out of the bottom of the dress anyway. Uh, I do have a couple of other white dresses as well so I've got these ones here, this one is from Mal, uh, and this is just absolutely divine. I actually have a similar black one from Matto. They're both basically the same dress. The Mal one is a little bit, it's less expensive by almost $200, and I actually think the quality of the cotton is nicer too. The Matto one is a cotton poplin, whereas this one here is this beautiful textured cotton. So it's got a cotton poplin mixed with this striped textured fabric which I, it just feels really lush so if I was going to pick one I'd probably say go with the Mal one but there are loads of affordable alternatives and maybe I can link some down in the description box below but again like this I would wear the same sort of thing maybe even some espadrilles to give me a little bit of height but uh, just some really nice slip-on sandals when I, we went to the beach I wore this with my Saint Laurent New Pieds and I loved that combination uh, and these sorts of dresses, because they are more of a true piece style dress, they do work really well layered under things as well. So I could easily throw a little t-shirt on underneath. If it was a little bit cold or I wanted just a little bit more coverage, I could also pair it with one of these shirts and I could knot it at the waist to give me a bit of definition because these are essentially just really, really oversized smock style singlet dresses. The next midi maxi dress that I have is from Pharaoh, and I bought this really early on in my pregnancy. This isn't one that I'm going to be able to wear till full term. I had just flagging that because I had noticed even at the beginning of my third trimester that I was very much filling this out quite considerably at the front, but in terms of wearing it throughout my second one, absolute um, throughout my second trimester, absolutely perfect. And this again is a really good layering piece. It has the smocking detail, which is great, particularly if you go up a cup size. I actually went up two and this has been really good for accommodating that. I found this one worked really well with that knitted sweater worn over the top and then belted at the waist. It was just really chic little combination and it made me feel a little bit warmer or cozier on those cooler sort of late spring, early summer days. Another one you will have seen me wear a lot is a super affordable one from ASOS, I call this kind of like my milkmaid dress because it has the smocking detail across the bust and then it has these voluminous puffy sleeves which are really really fun. It has this tie bit at the back of the nape of the neck and then it has this really long skirt. And this just felt so beautiful. It has this really lovely um, gauzy type cotton it's like a puckered cotton. Uh, the word is not coming to me. God, baby brain is such a thing. Um, but it's just really beautiful. It feels really nice against my skin and also keeps me covered up. So if something you're concerned about through pregnancy is melasma, um, then this is a good one for keeping you know all your legs covered up um, and then you've just got half your arms on show. Uh, then I also have this one here from Bowden, which I personally really love because this one shows off your bump. So it's a little bit more fitted at the top, good for nursing because you can just undo the buttons um, and then you've got this waist high which you can wear cinched above your bump and then it just kind of creates this really beautiful silhouette which I personally really love and it has pockets. I mean who doesn't love a dress with pockets? And then the final sort of midi maxi dress that I wanted to mention is from Evelyn. So, as you can kind of see, like most of my uh, spring summer wardrobe has really revolved around dresses. 
and a slip dress is so versatile. I did a video forever ago which was I think it was either 20 or 30 ways to wear a slip dress. I think it's 20 ways. I'm gonna link that up here if you would like some outfit ideas for slip dresses because they are one of the most versatile things that you'll have in your closet. You can wear them laid under, I mean this being a black one you can wear it all year round. I like the fact that it's a midi length so uh, it's really nice and it's quite modest and demure. It's the kind of thing that can be dressed up with some black heels. Uh, you can wear a little t-shirt underneath it. You can wear a t-shirt over the top. You can wear it with a shirt tied at the waist. You can wear it with that floaty, gauzy top if you wanted. I mean, the opportunities are kind of endless and that's what I love about having something like this. My wardrobe, I actually sized up for this and I got it in a six. Um, and I find that the waist measurement, I think, is equal in all of the different sizes. Uh, you just get a little bit more room around the bust and the hips. Next, let's talk mini dresses. And I've got two that I wanted to kind of highlight, uh, which are probably my favorite out of all the ones that I've got kind of in my wardrobe at the moment. So the first one is this linen one from Suzanne. And I absolutely adore the print on this. It's sort of like a fine cheetah print. And the silhouette is really pretty. I actually shared a photo at 29 weeks pregnant on my Instagram, which I'm going to put here um, if you want to see. But I mean, I just feel so good whenever I put this on. Um, it will get a little bit shorter in the front, obviously, with your bump. <laughs> but this is the perfect kind of dress for it if you're not pregnant or if you want something that you can kind of save for when you're no longer nursing. Uh, it does have that waist tie, which I kind of find with a dress like this is it definitely necessary because it helps to define the smallest part of your body, which is generally a little bit higher up um, than it used to be. And the flouncy skirt is just a really pretty feminine silhouette. Um, again, I just wear that with little sandals, slip-on slides, my Vanelli two-tone pumps, perfect with it. Uh, then we also have my Karen Walker gingham dress, which you will have seen me talk about quite a few times. Um, I actually bought this a few sizes up and I got it from eBay. I managed to find it for an absolute steal and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. This is a little bit shorter than the Suzanne dress, but I just feel so comfortable in it and it is perfect for those really hot days um, and having so much fabric. I just feel very comfortable in it and I feel like from some angles you maybe wouldn't know that I was pregnant. Maybe I'm kidding myself, but <laughs> I feel like definitely earlier on, I could disguise it a little bit with this dress. <laughs> then we've got two last dresses, and these are both bodycon style dresses, and ones that I feel work really well for a slightly more dressier occasion, or more of a special occasion. The first one is from Glassens, and every single time that I have mentioned this or shown this, I get so many questions about it, and I'm so sorry. I actually bought this probably... I think when I found out that I was pregnant, so really, really early on, uh, and I just thought it would be a great option because it is fully smocked um, and it is a really nice length. And you guys know how much I love polka dots. Polka dots, stripes, checks, gingham, they are classic prints that will never date. I thought this should be a really great one to wear post-pregnancy too, probably with spanks knowing me, but I really like the length of it and this again looks really great, it looks amazing with strappy sandals actually. And I've worn this one out for a couple of nice dinners and felt amazing in it. The other one that I wanted to mention, you will have seen if you follow me on Instagram in an IGTV and maybe I can link that up here, oh wait, down in the description box, so you can go and check that out. Uh, this one's from uh, MLM Label, and it is just a really beautiful, off-the-shoulder, leopard print, smocked dress with this lovely sort of fishtail mermaid hem. So it's fitted throughout the entire body, and then you have this beautiful floaty hemline. Uh, it does show a little bit of your ankles, which I think is really beautiful and feminine and, and flattering, and this is just, it's gorgeous for summer, uh, and definitely the kind of thing that um, you could wear, depend, you know, both pre, post, you could wear this nursing as well. They actually do a little mini style in this dress, which is very sweet. I have the black version and it's just so much fun. Um, and again, I took this on my usual size. I've got it in a small. So it's super stretchy. And this one I'm talking about with smocking. Smocking is so great, particularly if you want to indulge. Actually really good just if you want to indulge in general, uh, if you've got a special occasion and you want something that you're going to feel comfortable in, go for something smocked. And maybe wear a loose knit, knit or something like that over the top if you want to hide your uh, food baby. <laughs>
So that is it from me. I really hope that you enjoyed getting a peek at some of the key pieces of my summer wardrobe and more specifically the items that have really been serving me well throughout my pregnancy. I hope you found this useful either way. Like I said, all of these things, are, aside from the two maternity pieces, are items I would wear year-round anyway. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. Do give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more fashion-related videos from me. And I will see you again next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.